What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today is an exciting day, especially for filmmakers like myself because this morning Apple released the latest version of Final Cut Pro 10.4 and it's a huge upgrade from the previous version. In fact, they haven't had an upgrade like this since 2011, which is crazy. So before we dive right in, my name is Ryan, welcome to the channel. I make cinematic style videos as well as tech reviews and unboxing videos and things like that. In fact, I just started making Final Cut Pro tutorials which you guys are gonna love. My first one was released about a week ago and it's how to make better time lapses with just three steps and I've included an awesome Final Cut Pro custom plugin for free for you guys. So be sure to hit the link down below, watch that video and download your free plugin today. So let's dive right in and check out these new features of Final Cut Pro. So one of the cool new features with Apple's new iPhone 8 and iPhone 10 is the new HEVC codec. So about a week and a half ago, Stacia and I went out and we took our iPhone 10s and we made a video all on the iPhone 10. Every shot of B-roll, every long shot, every time lapse, every single thing was filmed on this. And I was gonna make a video called, Can You Vlog on the iPhone 10? And I couldn't even edit it because I couldn't import this footage into Final Cut 10 because it wasn't ready yet. Finally, Apple has included the HEVC format and now I can edit this footage and put out the video for you guys to watch. So one of the really cool features of this new release is the ability to import edit and export VR 360 footage. So full virtual reality 360 and you're able to connect a headset and be able to watch your footage live right here from your browser on Final Cut, which is really awesome. Now I've never gotten into 360 video. I haven't tried it yet. I actually have never tried VR yet. So I'm excited to get into that at some point, but I'm still a little bit new to it. But let me show you where some of these features are hidden. So if you are planning on editing some 360 footage, this is where you'll be able to find it. So what we first wanna do is head on over to the effects browser and we're gonna open this up and as you can see on the left hand side menu here we now have an option for 360 video and you'll see on the right hand side there's all your options you can choose 360 glow 360 patch channel blur Gaussian blur soft focus just a bunch of different effects that you can add to your 360 video which is great but some other tools are if you head over to your titles there's new titles and generators so you'll see here we have all new 360 basic titles, fade, rotate, scale. And then if you head over to your generators, we have another 360 option here. And this is to add a solid 360 color or a gradient to your video. So again, some really cool features for 360 video. These are still new to me, I've never used them. So you may wanna dive in yourself and there may be some more options available to you that I'm not aware of. One of the next cool features is the ability to import and edit HDR or high dynamic range footage. That's a big plus for you cinematic heads out there that are shooting on high quality cameras and shooting some 6K and 8K footage. This is a big feature for the new version of Final Cut. Another cool feature is the fact that you can now import projects from iMovie directly into Final Cut. So you can start your project on your phone, maybe you're out and about and you took some footage and you wanted to quick do a, like a rough edit on your phone. You can import that project directly into your Final Cut Pro timeline and then finish your edit right there. So that's a big plus, because I've been in that situation before where I didn't have Final Cut Pro with me, but I wanted to get started on an edit and at least kind of build my timeline and get the footage in there that I wanted. This is a really cool way to do that. So all you do is come over here to File and choose Import, and you'll see we now have a new selection for iMovie iOS projects. Another cool feature that they added to 10.4 is the ability to use Logic Pro plugins but have much more fine-tuned control over them. So let's head over to our effects browser. We're gonna open up this window and then we're gonna choose audio. And you'll see here we have a bunch of choices but we wanna select the Logic section. Now let's just select one, we'll choose Compressor. And then that just added it to our inspector up top here. But you'll see there's another little adjustment tool here. If I click on this, it's gonna open up a much more fine-tuned control and give me all these options that I can work on the audio. And last but not least, the one thing that we've all been waiting for for so long is the ability to have advanced color grading and color correction tools built right into Final Cut Pro. And Apple has finally given it to us. Previously, you've had to purchase third-party plugins and installers in order to use color grading tools and in order to install LUTs. Well, now you can install LUTs directly into Final Cut without an installer and without a third-party plugin. You can also 
use all these advanced color grading tools without any third-party plugins. So this is a big, big step forward for Apple when it comes to editing on Final Cut Pro. So we're gonna head over to our effects browser and we're gonna select color. And as you'll see here, we have our standard color board, but then we also have color curves, color wheels, custom LUTs, HDR tools, hue and saturation, hue and saturation curves, and these are all new. There's also a new color board control, so it's built right into our inspector. If you'll see right up here, if we select this little triangle, it then turns to color, showing that you're on this tab. And we have our standard uh, exposure, saturation, and corrections here, but we can dig down a little bit deeper. So if we click on this, we can add color wheels. And now we have this beautiful new a range of color wheels that Apple never had prior. And we can make all of our adjustments like over here on the side. We can also use the wheels to change the tones exactly how we need, move the shadows up and down a little bit. And you can lay them out in this nice format here. So maybe that's easier for you to edit. Maybe you're used to a different format with editing. And you can also open up each individual section for showing your midtones, your highlights, and your shadows. And you can easily go back to your view of all wheels. There's also the ability to add color curves. So you can select your points, raise and lower these as needed. But one really cool feature that I love is the color picker here. So if we move over here, we select this, we can choose anywhere on our footage and match that color. So this is a really great tool to add more fine tuned control over your color corrections and grading. Now let me show you the cool part that I'm very interested in is the ability to add LUTs directly to Final Cut Pro without an installer. First, we're gonna choose our footage that we wanna edit. So we're gonna head over here to Custom LUT, and we're gonna double click on that. And then you'll see here in our inspector, we ha now have this Custom LUT section. We come over here and we choose from our LUTs folder. And these, this is a folder that you would have saved somewhere within your computer. And I'm gonna choose the Osiris Rec 709, and I'll choose KDX. And as you see, that just added the LUT directly to my footage. I didn't need to put an installer. I didn't need to download a plugin. This is awesome. So that's it guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button on your way out. If you're new to the channel, subscribe and be a part of the DBB fam. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.